and that applies to everything in life. Everything. As a matter of fact, when I did a lecture at OSU and did Grand Rounds, it's an educational forum for, for physicians and residents. Okay. I had to think about how do I explain this to a logical mindset. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you don't have to worry about that here. <laughs> <laughs> but how I described it is if you take the human cell and you put it into a nurturing environment, it's going to survive and thrive. Yeah. If you take the human cell and you put it into a hostile environment, it's going to struggle and sometimes die. That's feng shui. Interesting. I mean, when you think about environments, there's the environment of the mind, the body, the spirit, home, work, school, community, faith-based. I mean, it's it. for me, it resonates. If you've seen the movie What the Bleep with Marley Madsen in it, it talks about quantum physics. Okay. That is feng shui. All right, so you go... In theory, I'm, I'm in a nutshell to try to explain this to people. Someone calls you and they say, you know what, I'm about to build a, a new business or I want to buy a home or something like that. But I want to feel like the energy is flowing into my home the right way or into my business the right way and not out of my business mm -hmm. or I'm not blocking this kind of flow. Is that what you're getting calls for, that kind of thing? When it comes to residents, uh, people are usually looking to improve their lives. Mm -hmm. In other words, if they're going to build their dream home, they don't want the same old, same old. Yeah. So we talk about what is it you want out of your life. What are your goals and aspirations? So if you want a good sex life, where should my bed be? <laughs> <laughs> Sydney well, just cringed with... over there. <laughs> okay, don't be listening. That's my daughter over there. <laughs> Sorry, okay. McKenna. we got all kinds of kids in here. <laughs> well, to answer the question, I have to ask you your birth date. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Uh, December 9th. What year? I'm 62. Uh. <laughs> 62? Yeah. Okay, so that's... Uh, yeah, I'm going to be the big 5 0 this year. It's out there. Woo! So, based mm -hmm. on your personal birth date uh -huh. are your good sleeping directions. And when you sleep well, then that translates into having fun in the bedroom, too. So, what, what does that mean? Which way should I be facing? <laughs> 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 where the top of your head is, where your headboard is. When that's in a good direction, then... Oh, it's all good. Okay. <laughs> no, that's interesting. But it's so, customized by person. So it's not like, you know, I've heard, a long time ago, I heard something like, if you want um, positive energy in your room, your your couch should be in the West, or your bed should be in the West. I mean, it was, it was kind of like that specific as mm -hmm. to where you should face things. Well, mm, that's based on a very popular method of feng shui, okay. and they do have a cookie cutter approach, uh, you know, okay. but in my lifetime, cookie cutter doesn't work, just like my clothes aren't cookie cutter. <laughs> right, exactly. Everything's <laughs> No, but I have actually on my website a calculator that if people put in their birth date, yeah. it tells them what their number is, because everyone's associated with the numbers one through nine, okay. and when you know what your number is, then you have four directions that support you, which you would want at the top of your head and four directions that oh. don't support you, and you wouldn't want your head pointed that way when you sleep. That's interesting. There's also yeah. some misconception because uh, Edgar Casey, who was very popular and he has passed on, but he did a reading on someone at one point and told them that their head needed to be facing north, okay. and somebody interpreted that one size fits all. Everybody needs their head yeah. to have north. Okay. No, it, it's not that way at all. It's very personal. Yeah. Interesting. I, you know, I love the, when we were talking about the graduation ceremony a minute ago, and we'll actually take your calls. In fact, I'm very intrigued to hear what many of you want to know, whether it's in your, your business life, maybe you're starting a new career in you know, you already know the kind of building you're going to be working at. Maybe you would need to know where to put your desk in this building so that you're achieving the ultimate, um, most prosperous best. But give us a call at this number, 821-WTVN or 1-800-610-WTVN. And we do have the REO Speedwagon tickets today as an encouragement to you. We'll throw everybody's name in the hopper. So how much fun is that? Not only will you get your life straightened out, but then you'll be able to see guys who have now finally gotten their hair straightened out. Uh, Ario <laughs> Speedwagon. <laughs> but you can give us a call. We're going to talk about this feng shui thing. And it's, I had mentioned that we were at OSU Stadium. And you said there is a feng shui science behind the way stadiums are built. I find this fascinating. Well, shapes of buildings and also shapes of platforms. So as an example, a stadium help to determine the energy of that space. So okay. when you have a round building... 
or in this case an oval shaped building, in essence without a, a roof, mm -hmm. the energy continues to swirl. And so it just continues to swirl and swirl. That's why you get so excited at a ball game and that's where the wave started. Literally it's because ah. people were feeling that energy yeah. and they felt like they had to keep it going. So is that why they filled in south stands? Maybe. I don't know. Because at the end, you know, it was always a horseshoe. And then South Stands became, you know, part of it. And they enclosed that area. And I'm wondering if that's part of it. That would make sense. Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Because well, as the energy is swirling around, if it goes out any particular section, it takes the energy with it. So they needed that kind of Why in the heck didn't they find you many, many years ago? Because there were some lean times during the Cooper years. We could have used you there. You know, we do have some phone calls. I want to get to these quickly.